Welcome to the Underwater Museum of Art, or UMA for short, the USA's first permanent underwater sculpture exhibition. We're excited to announce the 2023 UMA Call to Artists is now open. Artists are invited to submit proposals for the fifth sculpture installation to be deployed in summer 2023. This video contains important information you'll need to know before submitting your proposal. Let's dive in. The UMA is located in the Gulf of Mexico, about one mile off the coast of Creighton Beach, Florida. At around 60 feet deep, visitors will have to scuba dive to see the sculptures. But the good news is, admission is free. Currently, the UMA consists of 34 total sculptures arranged in three concentric circles. New jury-selected sculptures are added to the site each year. Once selections are made, artists will be notified and have approximately four months to complete and deliver work to Walter Marine's shipyard in Orange Beach, Alabama. Sculptures will then be transported by barge to the Gulf and carefully placed on the bottom. Each artist or artist team will receive a $7,500 stipend, inclusive of design fees, materials, labor, fabrication, construction, packing materials, shipping, and transportation. As you can imagine, this is a significant undertaking with a lot of moving parts. So to make things a little easier, we've divided the process into four main stages. Design and construction, delivery, deployment, and post-deployment. Before you begin designing, there are several important things you need to know. All UMA deployments must follow strict rules and guidelines set by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, designed to protect and preserve our marine life and environment. Clean, concrete, and limestone are the only approved materials to be used for the bulk of the sculpture. Clean concrete simply means first use, not recycled or repurposed material. Stainless steel and aluminum may be incorporated into the design, but it must be half-inch gauge or larger. All materials will be vetted to conform to permit. As this is a dive site, you'll need to take into account the presence of boat anchors in and around the UMA site. Artists need to make their best effort in the design to mitigate risk of damage to artwork from anchors. Size and dimension guidelines are as follows. There is no one-size-fits-all rule, but artists should keep in mind that bigger, heavier, less detailed sculptures will actually fare better at 60-foot water depths. If a piece is too short or small, it is less likely to be noticeable or sustainable in these waters. Sculptures should not contain any delicate or thin protruding pieces that could easily be broken. Hollow voluminous designs must include a topside turtle escape of 36 inches or greater in size. Basically, if a turtle can get inside, it has to be able to safely get out. We strongly urge all artists to think of their piece not just from an artistic point of view, but also from a habitat creation perspective. Fish and other marine life will be living in, on, and around your sculpture. The CAA partners with Walter Marine Reef Maker to create a custom concrete base for each piece and deploy the final approved sculptures into the UMA. Walter Marine may, in some cases, be contracted by artists to fabricate the artist's design on site at their shipyard in Orange Beach, Alabama. Please note, this arrangement is between the artist and Walter Marine and will not be coordinated by the CAA or UMA team. Designing and building your sculpture is only the first step. Now it has to make it to Walton County, Florida, intact. Artists from previous years have either driven the pieces themselves with trucks, trailers, and U-Hauls, or used professional freight and logistics companies to ensure timely delivery. All artwork must be received by May 8, 2023. Deployment cannot be guaranteed if artwork is not received on time. Some sculptures may be selected for an above-ground exhibition at the Under the Sea UMA Fundraiser event and ArtsQuest Fine Arts Festival taking place May 10th through 14th. After delivery, each sculpture will be permanently affixed to a concrete pedestal that weighs approximately 3,000 pounds and measures 6 to 8 inches tall. 
The dimensions of the base will conform to the design of each piece of work. The pedestal or base is critical for successful deployment because it provides safe and secure attachment points for loading and deployment with the ship's crane, and it helps to ensure the sculpture remains stable on the seafloor. Next, the sculptures will be loaded onto the deployment vessel. Deployment for UMA's fifth installation will take place in summer 2023, weather and seas permitting. Artists are encouraged to attend the deployment to watch the sculptures make their final journey to the bottom of the gulf. After deployment, SWARA divers will return to the site periodically to monitor marine growth and capture photo and video documentation. Each sculpture will gradually become a part of the ecosystem, providing new habitat for all kinds of marine life and an incredibly unique experience for keen divers. If you're interested in applying, visit our submittable page at culturalartsalliance.submittable.com slash submit. Deadline for submissions is December 1st at midnight. Submittable registration is free to artists and there is no application fee. For more information, visit umafl.org. We're excited to see your submissions. Thanks for watching.